Now I know what you're thinking. You read the title, you saw the thumbnail. You're probably asking to yourself, why? What was the point of putting all this together? Hello? But no, in all seriousness, you'll see it'll make sense. I initially called this video living in a Haitian household, but then I switched it to surviving Haiti. Why? Because, well, living in a Haitian household in America feels like living in Haiti all over again. No matter where in the world, we Haitians, we carry our values. That's our pride. That's what makes us us. The downside to this is the main theme of the video. Now, before we kickstart things, let me ask you this. Do you believe in something called the Illuminati? Now before you go all crazy screaming and disliking this video, I do not believe in Illuminati, all right? I do not believe in that crap. But what I believe is our parents form a secret society designated to keep us in check. And this society is based on three pillars, three words, the three L's. Likol, Lakai, Ligli. And for my non-Creole speakers out there, welcome to Haitian Creole 101, where we introduce people to the Haitian culture. L'école means school, Lakai means home, L'église means church. And that's it for today, folks. Tune in again for another episode of Haitian Creole 101. See you next time. That's it. Three L's, not two, three. The pillars of the Trinity. Not two, three. Un, deux, trois. Why? Three stops only for you to survive. And if you fail to follow these coordinates, well... But what if I told you there's a way you can manage to pass all three gates, all three of them, without even a sweat? It's an essential key that you need. And I'm sure you use it because Lord knows I've used it so many times. Now this tool right here is only to be used as an emergency, only when the three L's are not working in your favor. So here it is, my secret to you. And the only thing to do is add another L. Wait what? Mario three L's is more than enough for me. How's another L is going to fix things? You're making no sense right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The L is not going to fix things. I said it is only to be used as an emergency. Well then, what is it? Okay, time out. My last L to you, dear audience, is to simply lie. It means lie. Simple as that. You see me, I'm an honest person. That doesn't mean I don't lie. I would be lying right now if I said that. But what I'm trying to say is this. I just hate the feeling to have to lie when I don't have to. Because for one thing, I'm a horrible liar. If I get caught doing something, I'm gonna be like, okay, God, that's it. But there's some people out there that be lying on the spot and the lie is so believable that you would think that they're honest. Me, on the other hand, I'd be like, hey, ma, I'm coming. I'm going to study with my friends at the library. That right there, that look right there says, everything like let's just say on a sunday morning one of my classmates hate me up and they'd be like oh yo you try to study for that test on monday bro because it's sunday that's when most of us are off and i'm like cool right i'm coming and now i'm telling this to the lady and she goes like on a sunday morning he could have said he's going to church but the library on a sunday morning he, he think i'm an idiot he think i'm an idiot wait, wait. friends since when did I give you friends? I never saw you with friends in my house. But you said not to invite any friends over. Don't matter. And speaking of friends, make sure when you're inviting friends over to your parents' house, make sure that they look like Napoleon Bonaparte, je ne sais quoi, from the 1960s. Mario. What? That is George Washington. I fool. And if you already have friends that look sharp already, make sure they look extra sharp i don't care make them look aristocratic i mean here here had this to their faces yes and have them squint like handsome squidward just for the impression they love it bottom line is don't have any ratchet friends over to your house okay because for one thing them zoes are gonna act nice and once they leave they gonna go you know and if that makes you feel a little better have white friends over it they love it also <laughs> you guys have fun <laughs> Sherry, I miss you, baby. Oh, Sherry, I miss you too.
Tell me. Say I have way. Food. In Haiti, there's no McDonald's, no Burger King, no Wendy's. Which means there is also no McDonald's, no Burger King in America. You want food? Go to the fridge. There's always food in a Haitian household. What's Mario? The fridge is empty. Ep, 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 ep. What did I just say? There's always food in a Haitian household. That's right. Well, thank you for tuning with me, young Haitian, and I wish you good luck with your story kit on surviving Haiti. Hashtag surviving in a Haitian household in America. Oh, and probably met a chicken now, dear.